Hi everyone, happy Mindful Monday. Today I wanted to talk about uh, social connections and the importance of them. So one of the approaches uh, that, that I take and many therapists take in counseling is understanding the importance of social connections and a support system. So as much as uh, therapy and, and health in general is about um, being well-rounded, both in, um, in all the different areas, mentally, um, physically, socially, and spiritually, it's really important to understand that we are social creatures and that we derive a lot of strength from one another. That is the reason why we feel connected to people. That is the reason why uh, when one person is hurting, uh, we can identify and we can rally up behind them. That is the reason why when Amber Alerts go out um, for missing children, like the recent one that we had in Ontario, and um, and there was tragedy that followed that so many, so many felt connected to it and to this family and to this child who they have probably never have met in their life. And the reason behind that is because as humans, we are socially connected. We need one another. Um, we are, we thrive when the others thrive, when we are free. We cannot really truly be free unless all of us are free. And that is the, that is the beauty of the, hum, of the human connection and the importance of it, therefore, in our lives. So in saying that, if you are lacking a social support, if you're lacking friends and people that you can talk to, um, mentors or a therapist, a counselor, a good relationship with your parents, friends, uh, any kind of relationship that is outside of that in terms of support that you need, it is really, really important to recognize that, that you need to take steps towards forming that. Now, there are many cases where people feel like there might not be others around them that truly care for them. Um, they don't feel loved and often when entertaining suicidal thoughts and those kinds of thoughts to end your life come upon you, um, the thoughts that usually come with that, the negative thinking patterns are that you're not wanted, nobody loves you, um, I don't have any friends, no one would care if I just disappeared or I'm a burden. So those kinds of thoughts all point to the reality that we at that moment don't understand the importance of connections in our lives and maybe don't realize the ones that are there. So... I can guarantee you that there is somebody who loves you, um, somebody who cares, somebody who notices. And you might be really surprised. It could be something um, that if you have a pattern in your life where you get coffee at the same place every day or you have certain patterns, people are noticing you. People notice when you don't show up. People notice when you're missing all of a sudden. And um, people are going to be connected to you. If something happened to you, they would be devastated. Never mind those who are close to you who are related to you who you are you're in their lives every day maybe working with alongside so I today I wanted to uh, really focus on the importance of social connections and understanding that you are worthy of love that you are loved and that you are cared for even though there may be maybe moments or days or seasons where it seems like there aren't any I just need to point you back to that Amber Alert situation and so many other situations in the past and even currently where we feel that solidarity with one another we're standing with uh, with one another in certain issues uh, that are dear to our heart um, understanding that uh, when something happens to me, something happens to you. When something happens to you, something happens to me and those around you. So uh, under, when we get to know the power that that plays in our lives, we can take those intentional steps to um, really step out there and form those relationships and reach out for help when needed and look for those support groups if you're going through something difficult and understand that uh, they are there, they do exist, and it plays a bigger role than you know. That's me signing out for this Mindful Monday. Until next week.